I was able to make and uh, complete this devotion as a seminarian, but I'll admit it was very, I was very awkward going about it because, you know, whenever something's new, you have to ask lots of questions. So I was always bugging priests, how do you do this part? And then how do you do this part? What if this happens? Does that mess it up? So just proceed with faith, right? And with lots of love. So the sisters are passing out a handy guide. They already did it. You already have a handy guide available to you that lists all the details. The first section are the steps that you take for these first uh, first Saturdays of five consecutive months. I will clarify that receiving communion doesn't have to be at the Saturday morning Mass. It could be the Vigil Mass that is on that same day, right? So the point is just to receive communion on that day, on that first Saturday of the month, at any kind of Mass, the first, the first Saturday morning Mass, Funeral Mass, Wedding Mass, Vigil Mass. Just receive communion. Confession eight days before or after that first Saturday, so there's a window of opportunity there. And within then the Rosary the, and the Meditation. On the bookend or within the eight day range? Oh, either side. Eight days leading up, eight days after. That's your window to go to confession. So that you're in the state of grace when you receive Holy Communion, of course, but also for this um, devotion. All four parts, these steps, should be made in a spirit of reparation for blasphemy and ingratitude and for peace in the world. Do you see the list of the offenses committed against Mary that we're making reparation for? The way I like to look at it is we're not fighting fire with fire. We're fighting fire with water to put it out. So we're trying to reverse the curse, right? We're trying to combat evil with good and overcome hatred with love. So we're actually compelled by love. We're compelled by heaven to enter into this devotion with love and with faithfulness to overcome these horrible things that are happening in the world. And maybe we've done it, some of them uh, ourselves and need to repent and go to confession for that. But we're making reparation out of love. We're compelled by the love of Christ. This was requested by Our Lady. And I, as I mentioned, we're receiving our marching orders from her. She's the general of God's army. And this is one of the things she's asking of us. She requested it when she appeared to the children at Fatima and repeated her request to Lucia. And because she requested it, she included there a promise at the bottom of the sheet. So that's the promise that goes along with this devotion. Another thing that may be of interest is, let's say the first time you complete this, you do it for yourself. And uh, praise God for the benefits that will come to you. And then maybe the next time or another time, you would like to do this on behalf of someone else. That would be a very charitable thing for you to do.